Hey everyone, um, I'm at the uh, church that is featured in the film Dogma. Um, I came here two, two springs ago or something, like I, kind of in between winter and spring. And here's another abandoned building here. So this is in Pittsburgh and I came back to this and some things have changed uh, the siding looks like it's kind of coming down a little bit more but this is a beautiful church and uh, I did take some photos and I tried to get in last time of course I couldn't um, but uh, it looks like they reinforced it also, the inside. So they, they got these doors now. Which weren't on here last time. I don't believe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. Real fine example of uh, gothic. Oh, it's condemned. Oh, that's sad. Guys, that means this is probably going to get torn down. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a mess inside. Zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, oh, man, that's sad. Well, we should definitely try to get in. This is a historic landmark to St. Peter and Paul Roman Catholic Church. It's beautiful. Yeah, in the movie you can see. Um, you can see this in several shots of the film. And uh, the final conflict of the angels takes place at this church too. When uh, Lance Morissette appears as God and all that, so. If it's condemned, that sucks, man. I mean, it's just a beautiful church.
So that's usually what happens. The white flight and then uh, yeah, the clothes. entrance down here at one point, but now it's all buried by rubble. They use this to heat the congregation, I believe. They used to put coal in here to heat the congregation. Yeah, sucks. Well, I'm gonna keep trying. I mean, I'll keep an eye on it. But yeah, let's see if we can get an entrance in here. This looks like an interesting building. my mask. <laughs> okay, I hope I can get on here. Not far as I fall.
as you can see, it's struggled again. <laughs> It is completely unsafe in here. I see fire damage. I see everything under the sun. <laughs> the wood is like completely rotted on these steps. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass, guys. I'm sorry. I was hoping, but <laughs> yeah, it's just not safe. Yeah, I can't risk falling through the floor. I'm sure everybody understands. You don't want me to die, do you? No. I don't think so. Because if I die, I can't give you any more videos. Yeah, that's just like really unsafe. Immediately, I could see that the stairs were rotting. And you know, that wood is just flimsy. Because the amount of water damage. I'll show you guys the front. I mean, I don't even know what this was. It looks like some industrial building originally. Maybe it was an old school, who knows? Looks like it was a cool building at one time. But uh, yeah, it's definitely unsafe. I wonder if this was housing for the church like apartments or something for the clergy. So here I am at uh, the grave of Mark George Wagner. 
Uh, this is my previous self, my past life. Um, and of course, a lot of people think I'm bullshit. So I just thought I'd do a video here showing this. Uh, this is me. Um, so I died September 8th, uh, 1981. <clears throat> and the lion symbolizes uh, somebody that has passed away because of uh, illness, you know, typically cancer. Um, so, people who have uh, um, seen the, uh, the podcast, you know, that Dan Bell did with me where he was asking about my previous life, um, you know, something which was very painful that he decided to share in front of everybody. Um, and uh, so... Now he says it's bullshit, of course, but I decided to uh, do this. And we are in uh, Geistown, Pennsylvania here. Um, I died in Baltimore, but uh, of course my family's from Pennsylvania, so. Um, and this is a Catholic cemetery. Um, And, uh, yeah, it's uh, a little barren, you know, I think the gate's kind of cool, but, uh, yeah, the gate's probably the coolest part, but, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. You know, it's hard. It's like staring at yourself from the abyss. Um, I see somebody gave me uh, some flowers here. Somebody gave me Pokemon, which is weird. Huh. I wonder if I have a grand child or something. My goodness. Huh. I wonder if my sister's got... My sister must, uh... I must have a... Or I, I must have a cousin or something, you know, or a, a nephew. Yeah. A nephew, that's what you would call it. A nephew or a niece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, my sister probably has, uh... One of my sisters, well, maybe both of them, probably have family. So, it could have been them. But, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, they probably come over here and uh, decorate it. So, yeah. Um, and I'll post a picture of myself, too. Um, it's on findagrave.com, and it's actually on my Facebook page. But uh, I'll go ahead and insert it in this uh, video as well. So, yeah. Okay, so here I am in Brownsville, Pennsylvania here, and uh, I don't know if I can get in any of these. Um, I know it's heavily patrolled by police.
And of course I stick out like a sore thumb because I have a Maryland license plate. Somebody's shooting our fence fireworks. Mm. There's a Russian Orthodox church there. That's kind of cool. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, things are locked with padlocks everywhere. It's like, things. So it's obvious they don't want people going in these. Yeah, it's like West Virginia or something. <laughs> Honestly, it's worse. I haven't even I haven't even seen a bad part of West Virginia yet. I haven't done a lot of exploring in West Virginia. Second National Bank. I'm guessing this was a motel or a hotel. Hotel at one point. Locked off for some reason. Yeah. We're at Union Station. I love these light fixtures. Beautiful. Yeah, everything is just... Oh man, that would be amazing. 
Oh man, I was just gonna say, lucky day. <laughs> Look at that, that's cool. Yeah. That, that fucking sucks. That just fucking sucks. Yes. God, just look at that. That's amazing.
for using it.
It's like one of those early Macintosh computers. So I don't think it's a computer. I think it's uh, I think it's one of those archive machines that people read newspaper articles from. They happen in the seventies.
I guess it's the porn room. This is the porn room, guys. It's a nice room up here. Try to walk on it. The floor is not really good. Yeah, this was a hard time. Yeah, this was hard though. Seven
The clouds sit past in reflections. They cast the scattered about pearls, stretch. It's a nice historical hotel, ravished by uh, 
pornographic game, man, I guess. I'll call it this in a minute. this video please hit like and subscribe thank you